hello everyone today we are going to add footstep sounds to our character now as you can see here when you uh, run you get the footstep sounds if I walk you can see footstep sounds but with the lower pitch and uh, lower volume if I go to crouching mode the volume is further decreased with the longer footstep foot planting sound to reflect slow planting of foot in the ground if I sprint you can see much higher sound with much uh, higher pitch quicker footstep sounds and the same way uh, just like for player NPC AI characters will also have the footstep sounds because we are using the same character and we are uh, reusing the same character blueprint for the NPCs so they will also have the footstep sounds just like me all right that's what we are going to work on today and before we get started i'd like to remind you you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects that i have done from the patreon page i'll leave the link in description below you can download anything once you become a member without a limit and this is a part of this action rpg with gameplay ability system series i'm doing you can watch all other episodes also in my channel i'll leave the link to the full tutorial series in the description so yeah now let's get back to today's tutorial okay so i have imported this footsteps sounds this footstep cue randomly play these two sounds so like this this part is redundant like this so uh, now let me open my animation character and the animation blueprint so here under locomotion I have this walk run blank space and let me open walk forward so here let's add a new notify track and this is where we plant left foot so I'll add a new notify we already have this L foot plant notify if you don't have it one you can just create a new notify so I'm going to use this L foot plant and then here our foot plant in similar way I'll add foot plant L and R for all these places okay like this now let me copy the same thing and uh, run forward here also Let's add a new notify track. Okay, and I have added uh, notifiers like this. This is for run forward. Now I also have sprint forward and added sounds as well. Okay, now in the same way, you will have to add for the sprint animations as well. Sorry, for the armed space animations as well for each of these things but I will not cover that it it will be the same thing as I have done for this plan space basically you have to add notifiers for the animation now let's go to the event graph and here I'll add L footstep L foot plant anim notifier and r foot plant anim notifier now oh one thing i need to clarify so here if we want we can directly play a sound as well 
but the reason that I'm not doing that is because based maybe later on based on the type of surface we step we may have to have a different footstep and also we might need a particles uh, particle to spawn or we might need a sound that can be perceived by AI a noise we need to spawn something like that too so because of that just playing a sound as a notifier here is not enough that's why I want to play it through the blueprint so now let's go to the blob character blueprint and here we have already implemented BPI character let's add a new function uh, let's call it notify footstep Okay, put it under character and here I'll add a new variable to say if it is the left or right. If it is true, it will be left, otherwise, it would be right. This would be important when we want to play a particle, uh, when we want to spawn a particle on the fourth step. All right, now. Here, let's implement that notify. Sorry, notify footstep event. Right now, we need to play sound at location. Now, the sound is footstep Q location for now I'll just use get that location should be fine and from the animation blueprint now we have this character reference if it is valid let's call notify footstep this is L so true This is R, so false. Okay. Four steps. All right. Now we should get the sound already. What if I walk? What if I crouch? What if I spray? Okay, I get the sound. But they look, uh, we need some variation rather than just having the same volume and same pitch. Let's give some variation based on the character's movement mode. So get the movement mode here. Let's go to advanced options and select volume multiplier. Uh, let's connect this uh, for crouching I'll make it maybe 0.3 for walking 0.7 running 1 sprint 1.3 something like this so this is volume multiplier and we can actually use the same like same values for pitch multiplier as well if pitch is low then it would be longer so that makes sense to have a longer footstep sound for something like crouching because we slowly plant foot on the ground right now let's see running walking it's very low when we sprint it's fast a little slow low 
very low sound okay so that's actually all i wanted to do for today and let's quickly check how the sound list, uh, percent sounds works for ai characters as well they should also have it oh they don't i don't hear the sound because i didn't add notifiers for the armed blend space and they were in the armed blend space so let me do that just like before here let's add one by one I just only have two notifiers only need two notifiers here and here okay I added all the notifiers required now let's check with the armed yeah I hear the sounds for me let's see see we get the sound effects for enemies also Now, now that we have uh, for stiff sounds, it kind of feels wrong not to have any sounds for the attacks. So let's continue to add attack sounds as well in upcoming episodes. So thanks for watching. As always, updated project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And next time i want to work on uh, how do enemies perceive footstep sound noises and react to them so yeah let's look into that in the next episode and don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next episode goodbye